we bring you news of idiots from around the world. Starting this week, we're going to go to four stories a week instead of six stories because we were kind of drawing them out a little too long in the videos. So I hope you guys enjoy, and up next is Justin. Hello, and welcome to my portion of the Idiot Zone. I say the same thing every time, same pitch and everything. All right, the first story I've got here for today is shooting suspects uh, caught. We'll start again. Hello again, and this is my portion of the idiot zone. I say it every time with the same pitch. My portion, my portion of the idiot zone. Yeah. The first story I got here for today is shooting suspects caught because they don't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> that's not the real heading, that's my heading. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory on this story because, backstory on this story, because um, it's a rather long story, story and I couldn't shorten it any because it is too funny. Yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Okay. It starts off with a man that was, that served 10 years in jail because of attempted murder. What he was doing was his, like, girlfriend, pregnant girlfriend at the time, was driving him down the highway at over 100 miles an hour while he was shooting at police. Smart thing to do, you know. It's, it's, it's an everyday occurrence, you know. Okay, and him, now that they, he's been in jail for them 10 years, he met his new wife in there. He like the little pen pal program, you know, with the prisoners and the ex-prisoners and they write to each other and they fall in love and shit. Yeah, that. Well, they got married when he got out. Now, this story consists of his new wife and him trying to flee the state. Well, they, they managed to flee the state. They stole the car and eluded a state trooper to do this. Yeah, not a smart thing to do as soon as you're, like, finished your sentence. She's pretty dumb, too, because she robbed a bank in 2001 or something, they said. But, you know, they just, they love it. So, after that, they, uh, shot an old man. They stole an old man's van. They left him to rot in the gutter. Police found the old man, and that's how they were able to track the van down. They found out the like number and shit. They found the van going down the highway somewhere. I, I don't mention states or anything because I don't really see the point. And they disabled the van with uh, spike strips. You know, punctured the tires. In which then the couple proceeded to jump out of the van and run away on foot. Third smart thing for them to do. You know, I don't know, I'm gonna run from the police on my feet because they've got helicopters and probably three states worth of troopers after me and policemen and you know everything, everything is after you, but you know, we'll just start running. Police eventually located the couple again, who again were shooting an old man and trying to steal his car. We seen a pattern. Hmm. Just a little, just a little tiny pattern, you know, shoot the old man, steal the car, shoot the old man, steal the car, yeah. Fortunately for everybody, the stupid car was a manual transmission. Both of these morons cannot drive manual, so they were forced to go nowhere. Police eventually caught the rather no-go car and arrested them both. Smartest people in the world. <laughs> Alright, so we all know that thieves in the first place are already dumb. So, this story even goes a little further. A guy decides to snatch a purse from a woman. And in the purse was the woman's iPhone. Now, I'm not too familiar with iPhones, but apparently they have an option on them where whatever pictures are taken on the iPhones, they're automatically posted. Uh in different social networks this woman had it set up where it would put her pictures up on her photo bucket so the guy steals the purse and he gets home and 
starts going through it, seeing what kind of goodies he had gotten this th this day. Finds the iPhone and decides to take photos of himself with the iPhone. So guess where they all end up? And the owner's photo bucket. So now she has a picture of the person that stole her phone. So she takes it up to the uh, police department and she has a perfectly good picture to describe who stole her purse. So no guesswork, no drawing, trying to draw what the guy looks like. So the guy also had stolen, I guess the next day, another purse, but they found the guy and he basically supplied the police with his own mugshot. Anyway, yeah, dumbass. That's it for this story. Hello and welcome to my final portion for this week of Idiot Zone. Two stories this week. I think it's a nice change. Less like learning and stuff. <laughs> Alright. This one is very interesting. I'd like to hear your comments on this one. What the hell do you think he was on? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who fuck knows? Fuck, fuck knows. Really. Okay. It says here, man tries to eat woman and he claims to be a 500 year old vampire. This seems to be an excuse to me, but after you hear the story, <laughs> you'll think weird things too. Okay, this man broke into a woman's apartment he's never met before in the wee hours of the morning just wearing his boxers. He then continued to try and bite her neck and hit her at the same time. We don't know why, but we have an inkling. He says he's a vampire, so he might as well be. It says here that he dragged her into the hallway at one point. This is when she managed to get herself free and borrow the neighbor's car and get that mother trucking, trucking, trucking out of there like any normal person would. Because you're like, oh my god, vampire, it's just a dude with no teeth. Okay. Yeah, this is this is an interesting way to die. Okay. Now, when police arrived on the scene, they heard a lot of hissing and growling. They followed this, and they eventually found him. He was just like... In the back corner somewhere. And the police were like, what the hell? It's like, okay. I, I like making noise. Okay. <laughs> they eventually found him and caught him, but not after having to endure a lot of nonsense. He managed to scale two fences while babbling on about being a 500 year old vampire and I don't want to eat humans. I don't want to eat humans. <laughs> when they dragged him back to the police station, he kept begging the police to restrain him and kept gnashing at them with his teeth. <laughs> He's just, he was on drugs of some sort for sure. They, no normal human being's like, oh my god, I'm gonna eat you, eat you. But yeah, like I said, I would love your comments on what the hell do you think he was on? Crack cocaine? Or was he just mentally out of his fucking mind? <laughs> Leave a comment below. Thank you, everyone, Gus, for the stories, and it is me signing off. Jesus Christ, Justin Wilde. Alright, so a guy decides to carry his gun, and, uh, not in a holster, in his car, and it slid and went to the brake or to his pedals in the car. So instead of pulling off to the side of the road like you should do, he decides to reach for his gun while driving, and uh, he grabbed it by the trigger, and he shot himself. Yeah, himself. And. Instead of getting one wound, apparently he got multiple wounds because it went through one leg and out that leg and into the other leg. So he pulls off to the side and the median calls 911 for help because he shot himself. So the police comes over to help him. Um, he has to be rushed to the emergency room because apparently he was bleeding a lot. Uh, on top of that, they find drugs in his car and something about uh, identifications. I don't know if he has like different names for identifications. So 
idiot in multiple ways. But the best one is shooting himself. So basically, he got himself caught. And called the police on himself because he was a dumbass and shot himself. And now he had to be rushed to the emergency room and pretty sure he'll probably go to jail afterwards. So if you drop your gun, please pull over and get it instead of trying to do it while driving. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe. Leave any comments below. All the uh, stories, all the links to the stories are in the info. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out.